Hi, my name is Derek Watson. I'm a dentist in East Kent in the UK and I'm making these short videos really in response to fairly common questions from patients about uh, basics of dentistry. And today what we're going to do is cover what is an implant. And uh, uh, in the context of dentistry, an implant is um, something that uh, replaces a lost tooth. So obviously many of you will never have seen an implant before so what I'm going to do straight away is to show you what an impl implant looks like and um, uh, this may be a little bit difficult to see but this is how they they come to us in the box and if I angle that slightly you can see, you can just about see the implant in the box there and this of course is sterile because it's going to be placed in the bone of your jaw either upper or lower and um, this is what we receive and when we plan an implant case then, uh, which will be the subject of another video, the planning stage. Um, when, we, when we plan a, a case, we literally order a bespoke implant, by which I mean it's not, it's not made literally for you personally, but it's of a, the correct width and the correct length and uh, the correct type for, for the job that uh, is required. And we use a system called TRI, it's a Swiss system. It's a very good system and on the back there you can see the um, serial number um, because all this is all audit trailed and uh, you can see the um, model number of this particular implant which is a, a TN33M10 uh, N meaning it's a narrow implant and 10 meaning it's uh, 10 millimeters long so this is destined for a, a particular patient um, they're made out of titanium titanium is uh, the best material we found for bonding with bone titanium bonds very well with bone um, the uh, problem we have with dental implants usually is not the bonding with the bone it's the fact that titanium doesn't bond so well with skin um, skin finds it very difficult to attach to ceramic porcelain metal titanium so um, when they fail they tend to fail at the the border the, in, the interface between the um, the skin and the implant but um, failure rates are pretty low they're uh, well in excess of 95 percent of implants last uh, many many years um, I say it supports uh, uh, an implant is, is a support structure, and I'll, I'll show you. Um, uh, we're showing you an implant. I, I don't have an actual implant to show you, a non-sterile one. We might see if we can find one in a future video. But assuming that you've had the implant placed and it's bonded, which generally takes about three months, then the next step to do is to uh, put a false tooth on it. And here's a here's a false tooth, which is, as you can see, is hollow. Um, and um, uh, will fit over the top of uh, the connector and the connector is this bit and that connects on the one side to the implant and on the other side to the crown so you basically an, an implant supported crown consists of three parts the implant the connector and the crown and the um, connector is uh, screwed in to the implant so this small connector has a screw that goes right the way through the middle of it and uh, the way that uh, we screw it in is using a screwdriver from this which is our implant kit and uh, we have a, a very small screwdriver that uh, fits up inside the connector and literally screws it into the implant and then and then the crown is placed over the top of the connector so that's that's a very short introduction to what an implant is it's um, we'll in future videos go over why you might personally need an implant or not need an implant or possibly what the alternatives to implants are and uh, if you have any questions about it then please do uh, leave a comment below and uh, we'll see if if you bring up any um, questions then we'll try and address them in future videos um, please uh, leave a like if you want to help other people find these videos and there's plenty of um, information about implants on uh, most dentist websites have some information about implants there's a lot of useful videos on implants on YouTube's animations and things like that but but very few that actually explain uh, the actual practicality of it I think in real life what, what you're going to be told and what you're going to see when you actually come into a surgery so that's it for me for this video and I'll um, talk to you in the future bye bye